Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And today is September 8th, 2023. And before I jump things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis. So thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Micaeus the Unhallowed from Ultimate Masters. This card is down 8.80% from $14.43 to $13.16 for its market price, and its average price is $15.65. Sliver Grave Mother here, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander Masters, down 9.50% from $18.73 to $16.95 for its market price, and its average price is $20.42. Next up is the Chroma's Will from Commander Legends. This card is down 10.54% from $20.39 to $18.24 for its market price, and its average price is $19.95. Palantir of Orthong from The Lord of the Rings. This card is down 10.75% from $16 to $14.28 for its market price, and its average price is $15.52. Hammer of Nizan from Double Masters. This card is down 11.62% from $12.39 to $10.95 for its market price, and its average price is $12.47. Sword of the Animus here from Arch Enemy, Nickel Bolas. This card is down 12.73% from $11.55 to $10.08 for its market price, and its average price is $9. Delighted Halfling here from The Lord of the Rings. This card is down 12.87% from $10.41 to $9.07 for its market price, and its average price is $11.47. Pearl Medallion here from Commander Masters. This card is down 14.65% from $9.90 to $8.45 for its market price, and its average price is $10.76. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Agatha Souls Cauldron. This is the extended art version of this card from Wilds Veldrain. It's up 8.60% from $20.23 to $21.97 for its market price, and its average price is $39.97. The pre release copy is currently sitting at $32 for its average foil price, and the regular copy is sitting at $17.46 for its market price, and its average price is $28.50. Now this card is actually being played right now in the modern format in Yawgmoth decks as well as Hardened Scales. It's even being played in the commander format in decks like Agatha of the Vile Cauldron and also Sir Ginger the Meal Ender. Next up is another Wilds of Eldraine card, Beseech the Mirror, and this is the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs. It's up 9.19% from $39.95 to $43.62 for its market price, and its average price is $57.07. And the pre-release copy is currently sitting at $52 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $33.09 for its market price, and its average price is $52.28. And yes, this card is being played right now in the modern format in a deck called Mono Black Beseech which does run a playset of it. And of course, this card does play for Orcish Bowmasters, which is the main card right now in the Legacy format, it seems. This card is also being played in the Commander format in decks like Rowan Scion of War, Kirkstone of Yogboth, and also Edgar Markov. And the next winner on our list today is a Commander Masters original card, Zuldok Void Gorger. And this is the extended art version of the card from the Collector Booster Packs, up 10.02% from $13.57 to $14.93 for its market price, and its average price is $15.59. And the regular copy from Commander Masters is sitting at $9.86 for its market price, and its average price is $10.89. And yes, you can find this card in the Commander Masters Precon, Eldrazi Unbound. And this card is also being played a lot in the Commander format and decks like Kozlek the Great Distortion, Liberator Urza's Battlethopter, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, and Animar's Soul of Elements. 
Next up here is an anime borderless card from Wildsville Drain. It's Blood Moon up 10.16% from $12.21 to $13.45 for its market price, and its average price is $15.08. And the confetti foil version of this card is sitting at $78.84 for its foil average price, and the Enchanting Tales version of the card is sitting at $7.44 for its market price, and its average price is $8.80. And the original copy from the Dark is sitting at $79.37 for its market price, and its average price is $83.40. Cents. This card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in Rakdos Midrange decks, Crashing Footballs, Murktide Region, as well as Living End, and it's even being played in the Legacy format in Mono Red Prison decks, as well as Painter. Next up on our list is Deflecting Swat from Commander Masters. This card is up 12.13% from $24.41 to $27.37 for its market price, and its average price is $28.03. And the foil edge copy from Commander Masters is sitting at $41.41 for its market price, and its average price is $42.88. And the borderless copy is sitting at $39.45 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And the Commander 2020 original copy is sitting at $25.30. $0.32 for its market price, and its average price is $28.78. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Commander 2020, Arcane Maelstrom. Next up here is the One Ring, and this is the borderless copy from the Lord of the Rings. It's up 12.27% from $32.85 to $36.88 for its market price, and its average price is $51.63. The pre-release copy is sitting at $159.06 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $52.27 for its market price, and its average price is $65. And the extended art version of this card from the collector packs is sitting at $63 for its market price, and its average price is $72. And this card is still being played a lot in the modern format in decks like Mono Green Tron, 4 to 5 Color Omnath, Amulet Titan, Demir Control, as well as Mono Black Coffers, and it's even being played right now in the Commander format in decks like Sauron the Dark Lord and Zuladoc Void Gorger. Next up here is Spell Stutter Sprite from Jumpstart 2022. This card is up 16.21% from $9.75 to $11.33 for its market price, and its average price is $14. In the Modern Masters original copy is sitting at $3.90 for its market price, and its average price is $3.96. And the version on the list is sitting at $3.77 for its market price, and its average price is $3.60. And the Secret Layer series copy is sitting at $21.44 for its market price, and its average price is $40.60. And the FM promo version of the card is sitting at $13.22 for its market price and its average price is $15, and the original copy from Lorwyn is sitting at $4.06 for its market price, and its average price is $4, and this card is being played a lot right now in the popper format in decks like Izzet Fairies, Demir Fairies, and also Mono Blue Fairies. However, it's also being played in the Commander format in decks like Alea Cunning Conqueror, Tegwell Duke of Splendor, and also Alea Artful of Provocateur. Next up here is Mistbuying Clique from Lauren Another Fairy, up 21.60% from $9.77 to $11.88 for its market price, and its average price is $25.30. And the Secret Layer Series copy is sitting at $23.95 for its market price, and its average price is $30. And this card is being played right now in the modern format, in Demir Control decks as well as Commander decks like Alea Cunning Conqueror, Alea Artful Provocateur, and also Tegwell Duke of Splendor. And our final winner on our list today is the Lord of the Rings card, Call of the Ring, and this is the extended art version of the card from the Collector Packs, up 45.20% from $3.54 to $5.14 for its market price, and its average price is $4.49, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $10.49 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $2.04 for its market price, and its average price is $3. This card is being played right now in the modern format in decks like Golgari Agro and Death Shadow, however it's seeing most of its play in the Commander format in commander decks like Sauron the Dark Lord, Lord of the Nazgul, and also Smeagol Helpful Guide. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Shielder the Apocalypse, and this is the Concept Praetor Stepping Complete Foil version of the card, up 7.59% from $104.72 to $112.67 for its foil market price, and its average price is $116.47. Bitter Blossom here from Wilds Veldrain, and this Enchanting Tales foils up 8.48% from $18.76 to $20.35 for its foil market price, and its average price is $23.66. Kindred Discovery here, and this is the anime borderless foil from Wilds Veldrain, up 8.53% from $17.93 to $19.46 for its foil market price, and its average price is $49.53. 
Parallel Lives, another anime borderless foil from Wildsville, drain up 9% from $41.49 to $45.23 for its foil market price, and its average price is $74.74. .74. Smothering Tithe here from Wilds Veldrain is the Enchanting Tales foil up 9.71% from $17.81 to $19.54 for its foil market price, and its average price is $21.68. Leyline Binding, and this is the Extended Art Foil from Dominary, united up 10.51% from $10.94 to $12.09 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.60. Smothering Tithe, another anime borderless foil from Wilds Veldrain, up 10.62% from $89.32 to $98.81 for its foil market price, and its average price is $125. Next foil here is Necropotence from Wilds Veldrain, and this Enchanting Tales foil is up 12.78% from $20.50 to $23.12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $27.89. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards were most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again on Monday for my regular market mover series. However, I'll be back tomorrow for the week's winner's edition so stay tuned for that anyways guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.